beauties um so earlier i was in walmart and if you don't already know i am starting school pretty soon and i was looking for a pencil pouch that like goes in a binder i couldn't find one and i'm sure there's ones like at office depot and stuff so i don't want to be told like where i can go find one um so i decided since i couldn't find one and i didn't want to spend like 20 or 10 dollars on one at office depot or something like that i'm gonna go ahead and make one um it won't zip because i uh, i don't know how to put zippers in yet so i have gotten a few things that i think i can create a pretty good pouch out of first thing i got was some of this material it's just a little square it was in the aisle where the, like all the quilting squares are, and it's just these uh, floor de lis pattern, um, needle and thread, and I got some magnetic buttons so that I can make the pouch fold over and close via magnet. And then I got some of these. They're in my lap. Um, some of these little rings to sew onto it so I can put it in the binder. So let me show you how I'm doing it. That way if you decide you would also like to make one, you can have an idea on how to do it. So we're gonna do this together! Yay! So first I've got a cat and um, the first thing I've already done is I have cut it out to about the size I want it to fit into the binder so that I can get all three rings wherever they've gone onto each little thing. So now what I'm going to do is um, the first thing I want to do is fold this over until I get the size that I want. I will trim it down a little but I want to be able to fit the magnets into the hole that are the the slit I guess I'll be creating and I'll put them on and they're adhesive but I know that adhesive is not going to like stay on the fabric for very long so I'm going to put them in there and then I'm going to sew it all closed so that they are stuck and then I'll fold another little thing here and then have this close like a pouch so yeah, I will go ahead and I'm gonna uh, patches, patches, stop it. So I've got this folded approximately where I want it and I'm gonna trim it down a little, stop, so that I don't have to sew as far so that Yeah, so that I don't have to sew as far and yeah let's go ahead and get that done Here. so now I've got it cut and I'm gonna stick uh, about three or four magnets mag magnets magnets in here and then I'm gonna take my needle and my thread and I'm gonna sew this closed and then I will sew the sides later because I'm gonna be folding it inside out and sewing it closed and so yeah i'm gonna put magnets in here and sew this part so i'll be right back Alrighty, guys focus now i've got it sewn down so you can see it's not gonna pick up anymore and so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to do the same thing on this side and i will see you in a minute Alrighty. Alrighty. so now i've got the magnets in and sewn in to both sides so we've got little magnet action so this folds over and it'll hold nicely until I pull it off and so it shouldn't come loose while I'm or while it's like in my backpack or in the binder because it does take a little bit to kind of get it off so the next thing I'm going to do is unfold this fold the bottom this is my bottom I've designated it as my bottom so oh we're gonna take that we're going to Fold it over 
until we get it where we want it. And make sure that's where I want it. That folds over nicely. Make sure that's good. Okay, that's where I want it. I'm going to sew up both sides here, this side, and this side. I'm going to sew these closed. Alrighty, so I've sewn it up and I'm going to flip it right side out. And there it is. You see where it's folded already because it's sewn on the inside. I'm just going to go ahead and sew up this. There's a magnet in the way, so I'm going to have to like sew. I'll probably just sew into this first layer here because there's two layers, obviously, but I'll probably just sew into that first layer so that that magnet's not in the way and there's not any obvious stitches out here. There are obvious stitches out here from the original fold sewing, but it's white and nobody's going to be like super close to my pencil case. So, but you see it just folds over a little flap. So I'm going to go ahead and sew up these folds and then I'm going to show you how I plan to attach it to this. You're back. Alrighty guys, I have sewn the little folds over and here's what it looks like unattached. And you don't have to go any further than this or you could sew some little straps on to the top and have a little clutch. Um, or you can do what I'm doing. Close and you can attach these little hooks is what I'm gonna do if I can get it to stay okay so I'm gonna take these hooks and I'm gonna mark with my little pencil where I need to sew them on so I'll mark about here is where I need that one. And I'm just going to make really light marks that I can see. I don't think the camera is going to pick them up. But I don't want to make them too dark because I don't want them to show up later. And then I'll mark about there. Put it on a little bit of white so I can see it. And then up here. So I'll mark those spots and I'm just gonna take these um, you will be able to see the thread on these because I'm not gonna cut it open to pull it through um, so you'll see the thread you can always paint the thread black or you could do something else to cover it up like put a ribbon on it or something um, I might look and see if I have a ribbon because I didn't buy any but I'm gonna go ahead and sew these on and then I'll be right back Alright guys, I lost the audio for this part of the video, so I'm going to go ahead and narrate. So as you can see, I added the rings on, and they do work really well. And you can see the thread on them, but I don't mind too much, because um, it is just white thread. And here I added a bow, I went ahead and found some ribbon around my house, and it works. It carries all my little pins and everything in it, and the only problem I've had is if I forcefully fling open my binder and like fling the cap the pouch like over to the side it will open up but it has it's really forcefully that I have to do it so it works really well and it stays closed in my backpack and so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time bye